Are you amazed by these strong pieces behind us? You know, I just have to like stop here for a second. Ask Sandra, what's up with the, the, the railroad spikes? What's the specific significance behind the railroad spikes and the beam in this piece of art? The spikes were taken and they were taken from the railroad. Yeah, yeah, I still feel myself. That's a secret. <laughs> yeah, we all, all of us artists got a whole pile of spikes in our backyard, let me tell you, in the shed. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> and, um, and there is, yes, there is a strong meaning about betrayal. Betrayal? Betrayal. Yes, and because the significance of the spikes that were put in, in Jesus Christ. And so, for every one of the um, apostles, uh, it seems like all of, all of them or every oh. one of them betrayed. So, um, I, I might be trying to get this. This is like the uh, Last Supper, and the yes. spikes mm -hmm. are apostles. And mm -hmm. actually, it's very well set up like that. Like, like that is so coming clear right. to me. I, I really didn't she see that coming. But now that she mentions the uh, Last Supper uh, the connection there, I mean, a light bulb went on. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for I mean, it's, it's awesome. I can't believe how, People are how awesome. good that is. And it, I, re yet I really didn't even get that until you mentioned that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and people always ask uh, for Jesus Christ. Um, so I left the space. You know, because he's, he's in the center, and, and for me, it has a special, a special significance of having Christo or Jesus Christ with no representation at all. He's missing. No, he's not missing. He's missing uh, um, physically, but he's, he's there. Because I don't want to see 12. Yeah, there but there's 12 apostles, but the 13th right. guy would be Jesus. Right. And he isn't there. He isn't there, exactly. Check that out. No, I'm He's not everywhere. Either. He's everywhere. So you find yourself to be a Catholic? You know, uh, well, I'm Catholic uh, because my family and, you know, my inheritance. Uh, Heritage? Catholic. Right, well, Catholic. Do so you go to Catholic school or anything? Yes. I went to a Catholic school. Yeah. Exactly, with nuns. Yeah, me yes. too. Yeah, you too, with nuns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh because we know that's torture. <laughs> but that was good times. <laughs> Keep it together, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be blown up in my class. <laughs> no, but I'm sure that uh, you just wear the, the, the plaid skirt down to your knee, like right above your knee. Yes, always. Oh, yes, right, right there. Yeah. Right. And actually, that was years ago. So everybody had it. Ago. All the girls had to wear. I had a blue tie, a light blue shirt, blue pants, the black, what, the blue shoes or something. Yeah. <laughs> the blue boy. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that we made it through somehow <laughs> to the next level. And you were talking about education, and um, and no matter how difficult school is, and let me tell you, Catholic school for me is not easy. They, they tried to throw me out, then they did. School was not easy for me. <laughs> and, uh, and yet we somehow made to college. And, uh, and I actually graduated with a Bachelor of Arts. And, um, and then moved on and, and continued my education. And we were talking about that earlier. How education as an artist really never stops. It's a, it's a continuous uh, um, strengthening and development of your skills. And, and as a, someone who went to college school, and now I know Sandra did too, I know where we got that ability to work on steel because we were Not pounded in on. Not in that school. <laughs> yeah, but they, they, they created like a, um, a certain structure in our lives that yes. you need to have to, yes. to make skills, skills cultures. Did you have to have a structure? Did you have to uh, have things organized? And uh, you have to have a mental set uh, of strength within your, yourself in order to form and bend and, and mold steel in the similar way that these nuns formed and bent and molded us. 
Yeah, but, but, I, but I also think uh, it has a lot to do with the, with the family and your... Well, yeah, your, I mean, but your family set you in right. school. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> they were working in cahoots <laughs> to, to create a, a strong person. And yes. uh, us, uh, being the strong people that did go to graduate school, uh, we're able to build these steel structures. And, yeah, uh, we're, we're I'll very... be able to live as an artist. Yeah, <laughs> uh, taught us how to live poor too. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> you don't want to be rich, <laughs> so thereby we can be artists because we're poor. <laughs> I'm living the way of Jesus Christ and helping out other people, and I'm poor. <laughs> what is the most powerful visual effect that you try to put into your art? And I would have to point out one of the visual effects that I, I'm affected by when I look at her art is the smoothness that she creates in uh, the, the steel, and that's not easy to come about. Um, yeah, coming from steel is, is something very hard And this is something that you yes. went out of your way to yes. create, yes. to do. Right. Uh, yeah, to, to reach uh, neat pieces. There is a Louis Vuitton uh, purse that is called uh, headphones bag so if you see that purse you will see the, the headphones like headphones of course not exactly that the headphone we know but it's, it's uh, pretty much that that shape like that no absolutely I, I see that now and if she didn't let me know I wouldn't really put all that together it, it, she carried out this uh, Louis Vuitton and steel. I mean, we're not talking leather, you know, cardboard or whatever they actually make purses with. But she built this out of steel. And also, that, that steel has a uh, like a, a bronze like color to it. It's not exactly what I would call a familiar color with steel. How did you get that gold treatment on there? It's a patina. Uh, it protected the steel where it no longer yes. rusts. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also gives it uh, a shine or a glow to it. Uh, and such as I'm sure the actual Louis Vuitton purse has like a sort of a, a, a reflective quality to it. Oh yes, yes. And uh, there's another purse. Oh, the Gucci. Over in the far, oh wow, you, you know, doggone it, there's your G's in there. And I didn't even see that before. I <laughs> think I went along with the rest of the service. It sort of looked like the things that you used to um, uh, blow bubbles. Yes, yes. The, the fact that you can see through that purse, is the actual purse like that? Can you see through it? No, there is no design like that one. It, that is your own sort of a decorative it. element on the front there. That's my with own the, With the circles and the, and the, and the sticks. Um, it's my own design. So. And it is, it's a very... Uh, that one is like the Louis Vuitton, but that one is not like any Gucci. But yet it, uh, it still has this... Uh, modern geometric shape going on of, of balance and counterbalance and uh, imbalance but yet harmony that I'm, yes. that I'm feeling about it, it, it and also it has um, these two uh, shape. weird shaped boxes right. uh -huh. that sort of uh, counter each other in there right. is mm -hmm. that a reflective of the person or is that a, another no. added, added element of, that no. you did it's all my design well you know again um, uh, well, I, I, first of all, love looking at these purses. It's what women normally uh, go around with, a purse, but yet with the added strength of steel given to it that gives it a uh, supernatural power or that um, a woman can really cloak the shit out of you where you're going to do that. <laughs> Don't mess with a woman carrying a steel purse, let me tell you. <laughs> Do some damage. <laughs> Off the top of your mind, what artists uh, affect the way that you make art? What artists uh, do you think about or you know, have affected the styles that you put into your art? Well, um, definitely uh, Mark Di Suvero is uh, one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> but I also have. Um, um, and, and are, so, do you like his big scale 
uh, the, the, the largeness of his pieces. Um, you know, what's one of the aspects of his artwork that, that you like the best? Uh, About the superhero? Because, this, this I mean, obviously it has a lot of steel beams in it and it can yeah. really includes like um, sort of small tanks and things like that that are built into right. it. It's a very industrial look to it. Yes. And these are almost a more than industrial look to it. Yes. They, they, these have a, 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 your art has a greater familiarity in terms of our life um, than the Subaru. Uh, when you look at the Subaru, I almost feel disconnected from my normal life and more connected to uh, a construction uh, site <laughs> because everything looks so built and, and, and I beams attached. Although I do see the beauty in that, um, I, I want to know uh, how you, what, what, uh, what really drives you about his art. What I love uh, the most in, in the Subaru is uh, his pieces look neat and, um, and very strong and also it's like uh, the, the greatness of his heart uh, because I want to do in the future, that's what I want to do, uh, like big pieces of his heart. Larger scale work? La large, larger scale, see. Do you, do you see uh, applying um, your, the, the style of art that you have here in a larger scale, or do you see becoming more industrial looking in your larger pieces? It's a very good, good question. Uh, um, it's something that I'm figuring out uh, how to, for instance, how to make a huge purse. Uh, I'm not, I don't mean uh, that I'm going to make a huge first and but um, eventually I would like to apply that uh, greatness and in, in big scale um, sculptures uh, and I have to I want to to women's accessories uh, could be yeah <laughs> uh, obviously um, uh, what, what I mean something that, that sort of falls into my mind is pop art the way that they took a uh, a uh, lipstick and right. made it large, a clothespin and right. made it large. Yeah. Um, there was a, a spoon with an apple. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, but uh, um, I, how, I, how do you, I, where that, do you see your art? I, I don't want. I don't want to uh, repeat the um, Subaru or or I don't want to repeat all the world, uh, art. Uh, I want to have my own, just in, in big scale and. I want people to admire my work as, as I do when I see the work uh, they make. Uh, I just love it and I, feel, I, I think it's amazing. I'm so smart and creative and I want to, I want to do the same. same and I want people to feel the same when, when they look at my work. And I have to, I have to continue uh, um, making my work in the same way that I'm doing it now to, to keep that uh, neatness and smooth and, and delicacy uh, that my pieces have uh, now in this, in this stage in my, in my career.